What's up YouTube? By popular request, I'm going to be reviewing Regeneron Pharmaceuticals. As usual, I'm going to review their business, look at their financials, and then do an intrinsic valuation analysis and come up with a fair value for their stock. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan. I do a lot of stock analysis here. So if you like that kind of thing, hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this one. Alright guys, so here's Regeneron stock over the past year. It's down about 13.5%. It's currently trading at about 10.6 times next period's earnings. Very low valuation, very attractive. Being valued at close to $51 billion. Not a whole lot of short interest, so not much hate on this stock. Here's Regeneron's balance sheet, and I gotta say guys, that's a nice looking balance sheet. Liabilities to assets ratio of close to 36%, debt to assets 11.5%, very nice leverage ratios, they're very under leveraged right now. Their liquidity is very good too. By the way, check out the description below for these formulas if you don't know these. But essentially, the current ratio and quick ratio should be above 1. And theirs are above 2, close to 3 for the quick ratio even. So no concerns there with liquidity. Interest coverage ratio is just ridiculously high. So they don't really have any default risk issues right now. Here's a DuPont analysis for the past five years. And what you can see here is net income margin tells us what percentage of your revenues end up in your pocket as profits. For them, the answer is anywhere from 18 to about 47.5%. The average looks to be at least about 30% or so. Very good margins, love to see that. And they're kind of trending upward you notice the past five year pattern there. Asset turnover tells us for every dollar of assets, how many dollars in sales you generate. For them, it's not that great. Uh, very typical for the industry though. I'd like to see it get back up to where it was. I mean, their most recent year, they're generating 56 cents in revenue for every dollar of assets. And finally, the equity multiplier uh, captures the effects of leverage. They're very under levered right now. If they would lever it up a bit, they would have a very impressive ROE. Something new on my videos, I'm also going to list that return on invested capital at the bottom there. A lot of people view this as the true return on the company. If that is true, it is very good for this company, close to 50% in the past year there. So by the numbers, a really nice business. Here are dividends and share buybacks. Dividends in blue, you can see Regeneron has not paid a dividend yet. They have some history of share buybacks, but as you can see here, they were net issuers of their own stock in the past year, having to raise capital there. One of the reasons for this is that they are still growing. You can see their revenue in millions over time. And just in the past three years, they are pretty incredible growth, going from about $5 billion to $8 billion in just a couple years. Another way you can see their growth is full-time employees. And that is another sign to me that they expect to continue to grow going forward because they keep hiring more people. All right guys, so at this point in the video, I'm gonna use a free cash flow to equity model to come up with an intrinsic or fair value for regenerate stock. So I'm gonna be relying on a financial analyst for their estimates of revenue growth. And based off that, I'm gonna walk you guys through my assumptions as I try to arrive at a fair value for the stock. All right, guys, here is the game plan for Regeneron. 
I'm plugging in the revenue growth rates from analyst forecast data. They have kind of a bumpy road here. Expect to grow revenues by about 43% this coming year, then declining by about 6.5%, then increasing again by 4.9, and so on. Kind of an unusual path, but that is the idea here. If we believe that, then we have a stream of revenues here. To get from revenues to profits, I need to know what their profit margins are going to be. Now, recently they had margins as, as high as 42%, but if you look at the five-year average, it's more like 33%. So I'm going to go with that, a little more conservative there. That gives me a stream of profits or net income. And then the final step is to take those profits and subtract reinvestments. Because they invest so heavily in R&D, and that's not a true reinvestment that's already subtracted to get net income, they don't really do a lot of other type of investments. What I've done is used a relatively low reinvestment rate and even have that rate drop from 10 down to 8% as their growth slows down. So once I do that, I have a stream of cash flows. Let's plug them into the model and see what the stock is worth. All right, guys, so here's the deal. I got their free cash flows for the next 10 years. After that, the company doesn't just shut down, right? So we got to figure out a terminal value. The terminal value just assumes you can grow your cash flows at some kind of perpetual rate after that, maybe just keep up with inflation. And so I've picked 2% as that rate. So you got to figure after 10 years, you grow 2%. If all that is true, we have a total firm value consisting of cash on hand, the present value of the cash flows over the next 10 years, and then the present value of that terminal value. You add them all up, you get a total value here. Now, I put it up for you under four scenarios. Discount rate going anywhere from 7 to 10%. Also, the required rate of return. So, what is it worth then per share? Well, look, if you only want a 7% return on your investment, you should pay anything up to 635 for a share of Regenerin, making it 30% undervalued. If you want an 8% return, it's still close to 10% undervalued right now. If you want a 9% return, it's slightly overvalued. And if you want a 10% return at this price, you're not, you're not really going to get it. So is it a good deal? kind of depends on your required rate of return. You know, personally, their balance sheet's pretty good. I honestly, I think it's still a decent deal at these, you know, seven, maybe 8% return. All right, guys, here are some final thoughts on Regenerant Pharmaceuticals. Okay, so first of all, pretty good balance sheet. Great business model. Love to see those high margins. Is it a good deal? It looks like it, to be honest, um, using the intrinsic valuation model. And I'm even being a little conservative with the five-year average for the profit margin there. I mean, their margins were trending upward. I could plug in a little bit of a higher margin there. So even being conservative, it does look like a good deal. Um, I'm kind of hesitant to recommend anything at the moment. The market does seem pretty high. Uh, but personally, I will look to buy this stock. Anyhow, as always, let me know what you're going to do in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Really appreciate it, guys.